It's Monday. That means it's time for another review. This time around, we got Matt Reeves, the Batman. Find out what I had to say in the review coming up next. The Batman, when it first released, it was a tidal wave of expectations, anticipation, with Robert Pattinson taking on the role as Bruce Wayne and Batman. He here he has the opportunity to carve his own path so to speak and that's exactly what he does he plays uh, Bruce as this mysterious off the grid uh, person who who's dealing with the loss of two parents and the only family he has right now is Alfred and that's that's the kind of person we're introduced to his mindset is of a detective and wanting to work with Gotham PD. We get a quick rundown, but not a whole lot. Just enough to know what's going on, where everything's taking place. If you follow the comics, this film does a service to two familiar comic books. And one being uh, Batman Year One, where we sort of get a, a backstory of, of you know the Bruce Wayne. Uh, Jim Gordon, Selena Kyle. So those key players are is attached to to the, that comic book. That thanks to Matt Reeves, he knows film. He knows how to direct, and that's what we need. A a man who's dedicated to you know a project like this, taking on a big property. When I first found out Zoe Kravitz was going to become Selena Kyle aka the Catwoman I thought to myself is this gonna work out I don't know if it's gonna work out I don't know if it's Zoe Kravitz owned this role and she did, did it with such confidence and uh, she's just this ray of sunshine but so kick-ass at the same time and gives you attitude you know if you cross her the wrong way and I really enjoyed that about her she just did her own thing nice unrecognizable Colin Farrell is Oswald Cobblepot aka Penguin he's just this low down dirty he's just this chameleon that that just works his magic and what he does here is, you know, stuff to remember him by. Paul Dano here is darkest performance yet, but it's so brilliant at the same time, even though he's not on screen, you know, very often. But when he is, he attacks the screen. Overall, I love how we know so little about the characters, but at the same time, we know enough. And I love that. The movie plays that card. The film gave us an invitation to, ex to this experience, this movie, unlike anything we've seen from, especially from Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves' Batman is a movie to not to be missed. If you haven't seen it already, do check it out. I believe it's uh, available on uh, HBO Max now, or you can own it. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time to uh, view my channel. It's all about movie reviews, honest reviews that I deliver to you guys personally. And we're on our way to building this channel, this audience, and I can't thank you enough. With that said, all right, stay tuned. I'll see you soon.